That's when you cut in and you test your meat. Shouldn't be red like that. What? Wait, wait. Shouldn't. Please, please. That's great. That's great? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> so bad. I love his reactions to yeah. Jack because it's like anger mixed with confusion. Right. You know? Makes sense. This is a major success. The McCormick. Major success. Um, That's why he said major success. <laughs> My friends, how are you? Good. Are we ready? I am very ready, I'm excited to be here, but at the same time, I'm a little bit scared. You should be. Oh boy, because here we go. You're on my channel reacting to stuff. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been here before. Yes, you have been here before. Well, I'm in your home, thank you for welcoming me. Of Welcome course. And uh, well, cooking with Jack. Oh <laughs> no, again, you did that already once to me, bro. <laughs> but, but this is different, Okay. because this is chicken, mm. okay? Oh, everybody knows how much I love chicken. You ready, buddy? Every time I think I'm used to this, I'm not. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Love the intro. Football finger food, shrimp and chorizo quesadillas with smoky guacamole. Just keep note of the title. We are cooking like fiends. That's right, we're going crazy in the kitchen on the Cooking with Jack show. One recipe after another. Guess what's coming soon? That's right, chili soups and stews. So if you got anything special, anything unique, uh, you got a turtle soup recipe, send it my way. Wait, a turtle soup recipe? Uh, I hate to admit to this, but I've cooked that. <laughs> You've done that? It was actually very popular in the United States a yeah. long time ago. They thought that it was like a good, healthy, uh, you know, remedy. Isn't that illegal? Uh, I think now no. it is. No, no, they sell them in Chinese supermarkets and stuff. Really? The time. Yeah, I go. Is it a special turtle or any kind of turtle? Uh, well, in the Chinese supermarkets, it's typically a soft shell. Well, all I know is that upstate, it was like, you know, the the snapping turtles and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right now though, we're doing a product review. It's called Bag and Season. Bag and Season original. <laughs> well, what's with the chuckles, gentlemen? <laughs> what's with the chuckles? Well, I was already distracted by the sign in the back that said skin or no skin, yeah. and then this pops up. I want you to notice that it never changes. It the never frame changes. changes. Oh, it always stays over there. That's that's interesting also, editing. Also notice that um, the, the, the video so far has nothing to do with shrimp, shrimp quesadillas. Oh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's chicken, isn't it? It's a chicken. Oh, boy. Dual <laughs> chicken. Now I haven't used a bag and seasoning, a prepackaged thing like this since I was probably that big. My mom used to do this thing called shake and bake. That's right, I think they still have it. And you put it in a bag and you shake it up and then you bake it. Well, that's kind of what this is and somebody asked if I would uh, review it. It's from McCormick who does lots of seasoning. So we're gonna see if it's any good and I'm gonna put it side by side. So I'm gonna do half a chicken in this and then another half a chicken in my regular gourmet seasoning that I have, uh, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste, and we're gonna see. The best. The best. Not, okay, the best. It's the best. I mean, that is a bold claim to make. Wow. Um, you know, I believe it. Oh, I, for some reason I is don't. He, is he doing a comparison test? Uh, more or less, I mean, so far, so far so good, right? Mm. Yeah, so far nothing, you know, it's a. It's I've never used that, but yeah. shake and bake is quite popular. Yes, yeah, shake and bake, have you ever done shake and bake? No, my I've mom. never done it either, but it's popular. Yeah, it's popular, I've never done it either, so I guess it's not popular. What is it, seasoned no. breadcrumbs? I think it is, but uh, you know, normally we just do shake and bake ourselves. You just throw everything in the bag and then put it in a Ziploc bag and you shake it so you get nice breading, but they already have a premix ready for you. So I've never used it because it's just so easy to do it and you just pay extra money. Yeah, you're paying extra money for it, but yeah. let's see what happens. And we're gonna see if there's a difference. I'm not looking to say mine's better than this. That's not why we're doing this. Wait, didn't he say it's the best? Uh, he did say it's the best. So now McCormick's the best. Oh. Mm -hmm. But he's not saying this. No. <laughs> I'm just doing a lazy season with mine on chicken in a pan and then using their bag and seasoning and seeing if it's moister, if it has a, a good flavor. Moisture? I'll let you know if this is good. Once again, we're not here to knock <laughs> At this. least we're he's commenting on it. You know, he's a little self-aware there. Hey, I, I'm guilty. I say wrong things all the time on my videos and sometimes just comes out wrong. Yeah, yeah, same here. Him all the time. Yeah, it's it's normal. All right, so let's open this up carefully. Pretty nice size bag. I'm gonna place the chicken in there. 
One piece down there. What size chicken is that? That's that's the that's that steroid chicken right there. That's I was that like, chicken that was, has not been eating the right stuff. <laughs> yeah. They've been injected with something else. <laughs> I don't think he sees in the other side, and he's notorious for doing this. It drives me absolutely nuts. And oh, so you just put it on top? You just put it on top, mm. and, and to me, that's just a sign of pure laziness. Wait, right. but is he not doing the sh the shake and bake? The well, bake? No, no. But this is bag and bake. Right, but he was saying there's another product called Shake and Shake bake. and Bake, yeah. and this is bag. Ah. This is bag and bake. Okay, get, let's get with the program. Yeah, one piece in there, and in between the chicken, move that over. In between the chicken, I'm gonna put some some celery in there. Two pieces of celery and some carrots. You think that does anything? Okay, it clearly looks like it was shaking around a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's what the product calls for. Let's oh, now you tight. tight. And then it says just to poke four little holes. So I'm gonna snip four little holes with the scissors. Is he going to cook with yeah. the bag? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, some more. Wait. Best. Some more plastic particles in our in our system. Seasoning over taste. This is how I normally would do it. And I think you're right, he doesn't do the other side. That would be it. Always. Yep. Just, oh, that's it? That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then I would just throw that in and, uh, in the oven. So let me get the oven started. Okay, if you're just doing the chicken in the bag recipe. No preheating of the oven either. Oh, yes. I see. So uh, what do you guys think the results of this are gonna be? Like, let's talk about it a little. What, what's gonna happen with the bag one? What's gonna happen with the one in You're the not gonna get a sear here for sure, right? Yeah, they're gonna, there's no sear whatsoever, but at the same time, I, I, I'm afraid of this bag. It looks quite thin. It looks very thin. Mm -hmm. I think it is an oven bag. I think it comes with the bag. Mm, so it comes inside with the bag, uh, like a kit? Yeah, like a kit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I agree, I don't think there's gonna be any browning because it's, the bag is, even though he put the holes in the bag, um, you know, the moisture is not gonna be able to escape. Now, if I'm not mistaken, in, in the comments, and please let us know, they mentioned that the instructions do tell you at the last half hour to open the bag to get so some, get some brownie. So you get some brownie. He's okay. basically just trying to steam the, be uh, the chicken there. Right, it's like, it's like a, almost like a two-step cooking process. Steam, right, I see. To, to keep it moist and then you cut it open to try to How get often do you want to see steamed chicken on your menu? Not very often, not, not, never. And not only that, <laughs> uh, this bag seems to be even more work. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, like even though he only seasoned one side, that was so Yeah, so much easier. easier. So yeah. easy, you know? I, I think if you put this in a you know 400 degree oven, you leave it in there for... Set it and forget it, yeah, baby. Yeah, set it and forget it. The, you know, also this is chicken thigh. It's a lot more forgiving if you overcook it, which for chicken thigh and, and, and leg in particular, I always recommend like, always go a little over it because it can bear it. There's so much- It could take it. it. Yeah. No, you have a half a chicken there, right? That's a breast and that's a leg. Oh, you're right. Yes, that is oh, a breast. Okay. That's a okay. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> For 30 minutes, two and a half pounds of chicken that's seasoned with some vegetables. 30 minutes, two and a half I'm gonna pounds. cook a little longer because I'm putting them side by side so it's gonna take longer to cook. 40 minutes later. By the way, gentlemen, I want you to know something uh -oh. that I may have not mentioned earlier. I've seen this video already, so mm. uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. That, oh, that does not look appetizing. That should have gotten, wait. That didn't cook long enough, right? It doesn't even look that like looks fully cooked. super anemic and just <laughs> it looks ill. Yeah, it looks sick. But even the vegetables are. Well, maybe like, yeah, the, oh, you're right. There's n there's zero color on the vegetables. Zero. Maybe he's not cooked yet. Maybe he's gonna put it back. Did he put it on low temp? Well, okay. Yeah, so we, we know that he just turned on the oven after he got the second tray on and he cooked it for 40 minutes, mm -hmm. according to so the So oven's test. not up to temp already. I think he put it into a cold oven, cooked it for 40 minutes because if you put this chicken with the skin on, it has fat, it conducts heat. At right? 375 degrees mm -hmm. Fahrenheit, you should not look it like should that. should not look like Unless that. Unless your oven don't work. That's true too, right? Can you tell the audience a little bit about their home ovens and you know how uh, sometimes. Sometimes temperature in the ovens are completely off, everybody. That's why they exactly. sell you that little oven thing that you hang on the top of the oven to make sure, because not everything is right. So yep. there you go. Real quick before we go on with the rest of today's episode, it's pretty clear that I am very passionate about food 
In fact, my industry is called the food and beverage industry. And the beverage part is definitely one of the funnest. I absolutely love wine pairings with my food. And the sponsor of today's video is going to help you with just that and experience it along with me. Because despite being in this industry for 20 years, it is still intimidating to go pick a bottle of wine. The aisles of wine is scary, but Bright Cellars isn't. You start by going to Bright Cellars website and take their seven question wine quiz that matches you to the wine that you'll love. It's easy, it's convenient, and it brings the wines straight to your door. Now, what's also great about Bright Cellars is all that overwhelming information is no longer overwhelming, right? You got the old world wines with its regions and each region has their grape varietal. But then if you go new world, it has the grape varietal on the bottle, but can you even pronounce it? Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore because each box comes with cards to help you learn about each bottle. You know what's even sweeter? Your satisfaction is guaranteed because if you don't like something that they send to you, you can contact Bright Sellers and they'll replace it. Plus, with the holidays coming up, you're probably throwing parties, you're going to parties. If you go to a party, you don't want to go empty handed. Bright Sellers got you covered. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Jokes on the host because I still get to crack into that bottle of wine and have some for myself anyway. Thank you to Bright Sellers for giving my followers the first six bottle subscription box, usually $150 value for just $55. Click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. So we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. It's not even steaming. Not it's even hot. Open. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I can tell you right now, I haven't even cut uh, it that open one yet. Has some steam. Oh steam. yeah, maybe. Okay, I know where this is going. <laughs> where, buddy? I know where this is going. And... All right, all right, let's keep watching. Aren't you not happy? Though, is definitely smelling good. Take oh. a look. I have to say, this looks more attractive than that. Ugh. Because he has paprika, man. So yeah. we will see in a few moments. Can I ask you so something? Is this going to be sushi grade? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a fair statement. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> so bad. I don't know why, but like... <laughs> You, you know, like, I love his reactions to yeah. Jack because it's like anger mixed with confusion. Right. You know? Makes sense. Cut into the thigh here. Let's oh, he's gonna eat it already. Oh, you can see, see oh, the, mon, oh, mon the juice cushion right out. I can, oh, mon dieu. Oh. No, he you. cannot eat that. Wait, what? See how moist that is? The yeah, it's moist it. all right. <laughs> it's raw. Cut a piece of that right off. It gets better. Leave Gotta right put the there. Gordon Ramsay meme. We'll pull the skin back. Cut right into this. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> no! What is that? Look at that. <laughs> That's great. You just did a great job. Brian, what are you doing? Is that where you're teaching your audience how to cook? What Frenchie, you were right. It is sushi. I, you, you see, I had to prep myself. <laughs> I had to prep myself for that. I knew that was coming up. There's no way he'll but put look, that on his mouth. See, this is not right. You see, look, the goosebumps. <laughs> oh shoot! I don't know I if don't... they can see that on camera, but man, Listen, you're all right, Fran I, Frankie has been it <laughs> makes a murder. Me, look at that. <laughs> or, oh my God, it, it looks like lizard skin. I'm telling you, it's like I, I see that. I'm like, oh no. Okay. Right. I'm not feeling right. So let, I want to bring up a few points. Number one. He had every opportunity at this point to be like, put it oh, back in the yeah, oven. Let me put it back in the oven. 100%. Right? 100%. 100%. Number two, he saw this and was like, this will be a great lesson to teach my audience. Like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And like, you just can't do this. You know? Or he could have just faked it. He has a spare. Yeah. Of each yeah. piece. He could have used the breast meat instead mm -hmm. and totally faked it. Now, Let's keep on watching. No, he's not gonna eat it. You know that is? Just listen. That's when you cut in and you test your meat. Shouldn't be red like that. What? <laughs> Did he really say that? Wait, isn't that criminal level? Like, that's a health hazard now. Yeah. This is okay to try though, so I'm gonna what? Yeah, I think here. he said should. No, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't. Please, please, please. Shouldn't be red like that. Please. Shouldn't be red like that. Shouldn't be red like that. You know, I'm not gonna feel better every time we watch this more and more. Look at the pool. Oh, look at that. 
Oh. That's great. That's great? Is that great? Can I get a palate cleanser? Do we have a shot of whiskey or something? <laughs> I am so confused. Now I want to give you a cooking tip. It's really simple. Okay. There's a spot of red this, this in your bad. chicken. When you cut into it, literally one minute in the microwave, boof, just pops it right out. It'll what? cook it the rest of the way. Have you ever done that? No. You Who does that? You don't, you don't do that. You just cook it the way through, especially if it's for home, you know? You can just, who cares? If you're presenting at a restaurant, you gotta start over. Buddy. People, microwaves are not for cooking. Yeah, 100%. How you doing, buddy? Not good. I'm My not stomach good. Is not turning, it's turning a different direction that I didn't expect that it was gonna turn. That literally made the hair stand up on my arm. It's not over though. Is he gonna eat it? That's it's disgusting. not over. It's not over. That is disgusting, that kind of advice. Do not put your chicken on the microwave and finish cooking it, everybody. Don't use it for cooking chicken, goddammit. It could be a step in a recipe, but yeah. not, it's not for cooking. Don't cook chicken. Right, well, this one first. I'm gonna try the... <gasps> no, I think we're done. Which is dripping, dripping like crazy. Here we go. Ooh, salamanella. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> now. Moist. Very good. Don't use Clearly. That word. That's not the <laughs> Clearly right word. Clearly it's moist. That's not the word to use. That is not the right word. Very good. All right, I'm gonna try the celery real quick. Oh, God. Mm, perfect. No. <laughs> Ryan, what's wrong with you? He's having too much of a good time here, Frenchie. <laughs> Wow, perfect, nice and sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna try mine. Mine has a big puddle, it's not dripping. Wait, uh, okay, we went through the words moist, puddle. What's the next one? A lot of moisture though still, mm -hmm. but I think the McCormick bag held a lot of that moisture in, it's really cool. Mmm, just as good. Wow. I I'm right, here we go. I have no words. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I can't. This is YouTube cooking at its finest. It, 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 hmm. it is YouTube cooking. I don't know about its finest. No, no. We should drink shots every time he says perfect. <laughs> and the best. And the best. And the best. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, we probably wouldn't be able to walk out of this room after that. Please tell me we're done. Almost. All right. Last test. I'm going to take a piece of the skin. That's He's gonna the eat the is. rubbery skin. You don't like the skin, take it off, and then season your meat. So oh, it it's just meat. Oh, oh no, that's disgusting. I've eaten a lot of crazy things, but there's no way in the world that you would have. Listen, make in me all that. fairness, in all fairness, there is a Asian dish called Heine's chicken, where the chicken is poached and it does have the soft. It's a boiled skin. That's you're talking. But a whole different. But this is like with seasoning, and it's like par cooked. Brian, you're forgetting that it's raw. I know all that too. Raw juice. That, that too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is a major success. The McCormick. Major success. Uh, that's why he said major success. Indeed. Indeed. Is that a sponsored video? Maybe that's what it was. McCormick would not. <laughs> would McCormick want to say they shit to him? Is that gonna sue him? Is that I took you seriously to... there. I was like, wait, what? why is he saying that it's perfectly cooked? Oh, gosh. Again, you did painful. this to us. <laughs> wow, that was painful. There's nothing you can do that you would pay me or whatever kind of money that I would eat that chicken. You know? um, well, uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, at our expense, yeah. always at our expense. So any last comments? Would you like to, to rate it one out of 10? Zero. Zero? Yes, 100, because it shouldn't be edible. You should not eat that, everybody. No way in the world. If that does happen to you and you open your chicken and it's not the way it's supposed to be, put it back. Put it, put it back. Use a but thermometer. I was, I was gonna say trust your gut feeling, but he obviously yeah. didn't. <laughs> so, put yeah. it back. One out of cook, 10? Cook your chicken. One out of 10? No, you're in the minus zone. You're in the red now because you're, you're this is a health hazard. Yes, you're like, does, 100%. Why is, is the health department not going to his house? Who knows? I've actually no, had Are you telling me not, someone's not seeing this? Listen, we have to. But, but he's not serving them. the public, so the health department doesn't, you know. But he's giving advice. True, true. Okay. I will ask you this. Yeah. When the camera's turned off, do you think that went straight to the trash or he finished it? I think he finished it. <gasps> I, I, I think, I th I, listen, I, I don't know if that's factual or not, but I would not be surprised if he was like, man, I did some good shit.
today and grab the whole drumstick and put it in his mouth. No, I, I, I can't believe that that's actually a fact. I think maybe he put it back to cook and he was just like, well, I got this far in the video already. I'm not gonna waste the footage and just put it out on YouTube. There's a very high possibility of doing that. Yeah, yeah especially when you notice that he didn't even edit the titles that was from a previous video. He's like, ah, just leave, yeah, leave it. it. Nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's gonna see that. Who cares, you know? So maybe that's the reason why. Yeah. And he already shot, he's like, I'm just gonna put it out there. Yeah. Well, it's uh, brought us a lot of joy today. I hope it brought you Brought you home. a lot of joy today. Uh, you've reacted to this video, I'm pretty sure that he's seen it. I'm surprised that he didn't take it down. Is it still up? It's still up. Oof. It's still up there. Guys, check out the original video. Give it a like and a comment. Give this video a like and Don't a comment. Don't give it a like, no. <laughs> Please, give it a like. Frenchie says it like it is. Before we close out this episode, I do want to say thank you to all of my amazing patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And remember, for the rest of you, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, uncensored extended versions of certain episodes, and most importantly, patron exclusive content. Hey, everyone, guess what? New merch drop. Myself and Justin Wang, the man behind Tales from the Internet, are going to be collabing on a very special and very limited run of t-shirts. Hell yeah. Today, November 12, 2023, is your last chance to pre-order. These are limited, and once pre-orders are closed, that is it. They're gone forever. So make sure you visit the link in the description below and place your pre-order today. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. I am Chef Brian Sao, not your typical chef. Wait, you enjoyed making this video? No, this, this was no. a little bit torture, No, no, Brian. sorry. Don't sorry to... Next time you come to my house, I'll get you something. Sorry to ruin your parade, but this was not fun. <laughs> I gotta give Brian one of the, my worst dry aging experiments I've ever done just to pay back. Yes, Let's I agree. Frenchie, me and you, we're gonna partner up. Okay. Oh, I got, no. I have some torture some in reserve. crazy nasty <laughs> <laughs> I never curse on a video, everybody. I hope your editor blipped that out. It's coming. I'm Chef Paul from Le Rivage Restaurant, AKA Frenchie. Au revoir, mes enfants. I'm Google. thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.